hi guys this is Tosif Ahmad and welcome to my youtube channel Tosfed in this video I'm going to show you how to install the steam OS the beta version into your uh, into your windows operating system actually unfortunately Wall didn't launch the dual boot operating system of the steam OS not yet at least so it is not possible to install the two operating system using the steam walls in the same pc so uh, i am creating the virtual environment a, virtu uh, a virtual sandbox so in that i'm going to install the steam os using the virtual box so let's go ahead so first you are going to download the steam os itself so go to the uh, steam website and download the steam os the link this link direct link will be in the description and go to the last side and download the custom os beta installation click that one and agree the terms and condition and download your version next you are going to need the oracle virtual box and this is this is the virtual box go to the website uh, virtualbox.org in download section you are going to find your operating system and download the software for your operating system unfortunately this team <laughs> installation package is in the zip format but the virtual box works on the iso files so now we have to create the uh, iso file for the virtual uh, for the steam OS. so we are going to need the some any software i am using the free iso creator just because uh, i found it is the easy way to create the folder into the convert the folder into the iso files other if you have any your favorite iso creator you can use that one no problem so download these these softwares and after that you have to install both of the software the virtual box i'm going to install first the virtual box okay you install the virtual box and after this installation you you have to also install the iso creator and install that one also click next within a few next next and it will install now uh, we we have this file this is the steam os it is in the zip format we have to we have to first extract it and extract it after you extract the this file you have you get a folder so now i'm going to open the iso creator I'm going to open the ISO create and now I'm going to browse my folder for the folders path I'm going to browse the folder it is in my desktop and select ISO creator ok uh, I'm going to save it in the, in the on the desktop only and save it and hit start now we have the ISO file of our zip format and we don't need this folder anymore and this one also but uh, I will keep it for the as a backup okay now now I'm going to open my virtual box or I call virtual box go to the new and select uh, name the your operating system I'm going to name it as a steam OS because I already have a steam here steam OS then I'm going to choose the Linux and i'm going to choose the debian 64 and here if you don't see the debian 64 bit if you have the only the debian one you have to change it in your boot uh, in a boot configuration you have to go to the system configuration and change the hardware visualization or the visualization technology something like that to enable, enable it okay and then reboot it and you will see your TBN 64 bit over here it is important to install it in 64 bit because uh, if you just install in DBN version the steam os is not gonna work so hit next and after that define the ram i'm going to maybe two and a half gb and next and i'm gonna keep it to the default one create it let it be in the default one only virtual box image disk image it should be there only in the default one and here it is the dynamic allocated and a fixed size 
what is the difference between these two? Uh, fix it that if I am going to define the 10 GB of hard disk space, so fixed size is going to be defined it specifically 10 GB for that one. Okay, it is going to partition that one only. But if I choose the dynamic allocated, it is not going to give in 10 GB directly. It gives how much it requires. Let's say 2 GB for the operating system. And as the OS expands, it is allocating up to 10 GB. And then after that, hit next. I'm going to tab it here 30 GB and create it. And hit create. After you set up your Steam OS, select your Steam OS and hit setting. You have to first configure it before installing it. And let's see, it's all okay for now. And in the system tab, uh, I don't have a floppy drive, so I'm going to make the CD one as my default one. It is uh, it is very important to enable the EFI. Uh, please double check this one. You have all three marked, and then go to the display. I'm going to define all I have video memory, and I have to enable the 3D acceleration also. Okay and it all seems good next to the storage hit this button cd add cd and dvd devices and choose it and i'm going to choose my iso file open it and i don't need this one and remove it and hit ok after all setup select the steam virtual box and hit start it will launch the terminal and wait for a few seconds and the shell2 command prompt will appear here it is now you have to type here it's better in all caps lock fs0 colon slash efi slash boot slash boot x640 and hit enter the grub menu will appear for a few seconds and now the OS should start installing here it is now select the automatic install here it is showing the warning that will erase all the ticks but since we are installed it in the virtual box we have to don't have to bother about that one and hit enter and After your installation is finished, scroll it down and hit continue. That will be all loaded. Now you have to choose this second option after you hit the recovery mode. The BIOS will come up like this. Type here apt get space pure space in the invited commas and dot star n v t and close that with dot star and hit enter it's not a pure it's purge hit enter do we want to continue yes Reading the database. Okay, the driver has been removed, and we have to regenerate the configuration. Now it's in the regenerating the configuration.
after all it's done here retired dpkg dpkg hyphen reconfigure x server x org After that, just reboot the computer by typing reboot and enter. And now it will reboot the system. Start now, okay? login into your steam using the password login steam and hit login and the password is also be steam login <laughs> steam os is installed in our windows using the virtual box we get over here behind the behind it is it's my windows and here my steam os <laughs> okay I'm going to make a next video on this one to make a first Steam OS. So it's pretty cool. Here it is, Steam OS. Thank you very much for watching this video.